Laura with Craft and See. But with Craft and See with Laura B. How are you all doing? I'm doing pretty good. It is actually Thursday evening. And I'm recording this. You will be seeing it on Monday morning. And what is today's video about? What is all of this stuff? This is the answer to Kyung. And I'm really sorry, hun, but in my last video, I kept saying Kyung. I, I, I'm i pretty sure I know how to pronounce your name, but, you know, hey, we shall see. There's my dog. Um, and her prompt for the hashtag, I know this, hashtag, think outside the box challenge. I keep wanting to say the one uh, Mitzi and I did, it, but that's not it. It is think outside the box challenge and so where we come up with something that we normally would you would use or not use and you put it in your journal so Hyung came up with toilet paper or paper towels but not napkins because everybody has toilet paper and everybody has pretty much everybody has paper towels so I decided to use the cereal bags that the um lovely Natasha at Treasure Books, one of the things that she had, she has done. And, um, so let's get started. So I, I, again, as I said in the video that you'll see in the morning or on Friday, uh, I am not feeling well and I am on, uh, sinus medication. And so I'm a little bit loopy, I guess. Just, you know how it goes when you just don't feel well. Oh, sorry. Excuse me, that's really rude. You all aren't boring. <laughs> no, you are not. It's just me. So, um, I have already done some of this because I was having a play, and that's one of the reasons I'm doing this tonight, because I still want to craft and I still want to do this, but it's for a video, so I needed to start shooting the one for this so that I could still play and not just do something boring that I don't want to do. So, I have already dis dis blah, 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 distress oxided all of these. And these I made into um, bookmarks. Duh, I can speak. I can speak. I can speak. Bookmarks. So I use the distress oxide. And as long as you're gentle with the baby, it all works out. And then I put stickers on them. And use this. I have demonstrated this technique before, but I will. We will do it again. Do it again tonight. And speaking of which, I probably should plug it in my iron. And then I just sewed around it to make sh doubly sure that it was sealed and was going to stay sealed. And then um, just used my whatever you call this zigzag cutter for ice for clothes. By Mr. Pen. Knocking stuff over left and right. So, these are ones that I have done. And let me show you the one that I would not do again. If it's even in here. Oh, here it is. I, uh, this one I haven't. I've just, I think I'm going to leave it blank. This I stamped and did the heat embossing, which works. This is actually an owl on top of a stack of books. But if it is an intricate stamp, it does not do well. This is a non-intricate stamp that I used black heat emboss on. And it, it, it works. It, it does. I'm just not a huge fan of it. It didn't work out the way I wanted it. Maybe it's because my uh, toilet paper is textured. So these are the ones I stamped. Little, um, you can barely see them, but it's a little mouse. And I think it's cabbage that he's laying in. And then here's the bee. And look, Mitzi, I have mushroom stamps. I got them off of Timu. They just came in. And then here's the other mouse with a dragonfly going over a field. And a mouse that is, you can barely see his little face, with a Danny Lane blowing in the wind blowing in the wind so they do work um again if you didn't have textured toilet paper it might work better so i'm going to start the process 
we're going to go through it from start to finish and we'll kind of change it up a little bit. So let me put these out of the way. So I'm going to ask, even though it is not that day yet, because it is Thursday, how was everyone's Mother's Day? Um, were you treated like royalty or did you treat like royalty? Let me know. I am going to lunch with a dear friend of mine. And then I think that's it. Yeah, well, actually, I have an MRI in the morning. Yes, on Mother's Day. And I have to be there at 6.30, and it's like a 45-minute drive. But, you know, it's like you get in when they have time. And actually, going that early, I'm an early riser, so I'm always up by then. But not, like, in any way, shape, or form to, to drive and think at that early in the morning. So it's going to be fun. Um, what was I trying to say? So, and then I'm going to be going to uh, late, basically, brunch with my adopted mommy, as I call her. Mommy number four. And I've talked about that before. Bio mom, adopted mom, stepmom, and then now mommy number four. Or I call her my real mommy. So, I am just going to lightly kind of you go through. And again, it works because, well, this is decent toilet paper. I This is Cottonelle ultra soft or whatever it is that's why it's so textured and it is soft <laughs> and it is strong you know i'm going to put just a little bit more of the purple on it and again i try not to use as much water as i normally would kind of spread it out and well i suppose i could use a paintbrush or something to spread it out with but so this is where I'm going to be very gentle with the baby. So as not to rip or tear it. And I will be heat using my heat gun. So in three, two. dry enough I won't make mud. Oops, this is not the pink I wanted. That's not the droid you're looking for. This be the pink I want. Use my one of my towels that I've been using all day as you can see. So this is the Distress Oxide Spray. I have a uh, fossilized amber and what is it? Let me see. Barn door. All right, easy girl. Yes, I know. She doesn't like it as much when I'm down here. She'd rather me be on the love seat up in my room watching TV so she can lay right next to me. But. I'm just not that kind of person. I don't, I like, one of the reasons I love her breed is they're more independent. They don't need to hang on to you all the time. I'm just not that kind of person. I would not like that kind of dog. I, you know, like them a little bit more independent. And she is. Yes, you're a pretty girl, aren't you? And she has been enjoying the sun. She's got her place underneath the deck she likes to lay. So, since you will see this the day after Mother's Day on the 15th, do tell me what your plans were and how your weekend went. Okay, again. Uno mas. It could be a little bit more dry here. So here we go.
So as long as you're gentle with the baby, this will work. Okay, one more color. I know you're not. I was saying in my earlier video, it looks like it just throws its hell on the floor. And actually, one I kind of did. But I do have a the handle of this stair light, I think it is. You know, picnic table thing. Is right there. And I hang, you know, like a wet towel or on it, but it always ends up falling off. Always. So, just a little bit of water. I am so glad that YouTube, I don't have to show my face because my shirt is so incredibly dirty. Hopefully it's not showing. I, so I didn't go anywhere today. I wasn't, like I said, I wasn't feeling well. Had a great day yesterday. Would have been Wednesday. And I came home and I, I kid you not, it was about a half an hour, no more than a half an hour later, suddenly I was super congested, couldn't stop blowing my nose, blew my nose probably every 30 seconds for four hours. Then I couldn't go to sleep because I was too hot and too cold. You know how it goes. Anyway. Hey. There we go. So it is dry. And so far I've been very gentle with the baby. Okay. My hands look really awful. I swear I keep washing them, but they just don't look clean. And for that, I really apologize. Ugh. Okay. In goes this curling like this iron now this iron oops i apologize that iron i got from a friend's mother-in-law after she passed and it is came in the original box with the instruction with the tag from wherever they bought it from and it was uh, i looked it up 1956 so yay me for that i love it and it is so smooth i mean it is it it just glides across just one finger and it's best iron I've had zero and I mean zero safety features and this actually is where it has a little little spray bottle that uh, that squeeze uh, screws onto there which gives you the steam and you spray and yes it I don't know how they did it without burning the heck out of there themselves because I can't do it without burning myself. So, okay, what do I want to do? I am going to stamp and I'm going to just do two. So I'm going to gently there. Put that one there. And I will stamp on this one without burning myself, hopefully. So like I said, no safety features, and I, I bet you I have used that, I mean, I've used it a lot of times, but I have only not burned myself maybe twice. Earlier today was one of them. It might have been a few more times than that, but I'm telling you, it, you know, no safety features, and the whole thing, the whole thing is metal. I mean, and this is the little knob to turn it, <laughs> so yeah, it gets blazing hot. All right, so let me pick a stamp. Pick a stamp, any stamp. I know what I'll do. I'm gonna use one of these Tim Holtz ones that I've had for a while and you know, it doesn't really have any sticky on it. So I'm going to have to yeah, put some glue stick this is a trick I learned learned from um, 
Candace at Journal Me Crazy by Candace Johnson to get the ones that won't stick to stick. Put a little bit of stick glue. Oops, don't do that. Don't do that. And then up. And see there, now it sticks. And I'm just gonna use, oh, where'd it go? Oh, I'm crying in the bucket, come on. Not that one. I have a, a box from the Buck 25 store I'm digging in right here because all of my, these kind of inks, the ones that I don't have a uh, Tim Holtz tin they fit in. Now this, I think, is what Mitzi was saying. You rub it on, and then, I don't know proper stamping technique. I am new to paper crafting and stamping. I did not grow up doing this. I did not do this until um, almost two years ago. So, I know that sometimes I, like, get the smack down on it to make sure it all gets in there. There we go. Get it in a chokehold and er. Uh, there. Good enough. And no, I'm not gonna be a good girl and wash that right now. So, okay, there is that one. And I'm not gonna do the other one because I have different plans for it and we don't wanna be here all day or night as the case may be. So, um, Natasha probably will explain this much better than I, so I will try and remember to uh, put her link in the bottom in the description box. But when you do this, you want to make sure that you have the you know, shinier sides together. And they have a shiny and a less shiny. And sometimes I have a really hard time. I'm going to say this is the shiny. And this one's easier, not just as shiny as this side. So, what you want to do to start is, hang on now, what I do with it. Is it still over here? No, it is not. So, I'm looking for the parchment paper. There it is. And that I already had for earlier project that I was, the ones I was working on. Oh, for goodness sakes. I've got, <laughs> I have a heating pad that I put at my back on my chair and I'm tripping over it. So, I'm just going to get this. Sorry. Oh, like, wow. Okay, this is a portable ironing board that is just absolutely filthy. And you may want to look away because I am going to lift you up just a tad. Okay. You can look back now. All right. So what you're going to do is, and I'm going to go ahead and tear this. And I'll see if I can turn down the sound when I edit this because it is quite loud. So I'm going to take this one and this one. So you take... That has been not a good one. So I decided this was the shiny. And let us cut as cut it. Ooh, it's warm to me. And since we're here, I we might as well do this one. And I'm spacing them apart so that when I cut I don't cut too close to the napkin and then I really want to do one of these can we do this one this little guy flying okay we will so there we go and this should be enough hopefully and if not you just kind of play with the placement a little bit so come back over Oof. Hot flash, hot flash. Right. No, I am not the flash. I'm having a hot flash. Hot, 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 hot. All right, 
So, because you don't want it sticking, have parchment paper there and parchment paper here, but I am unhappy with the size of the one underneath, so I'm just going to add to it. Like I said, I will link Natasha's video below who explains things far better than I ever could. Still not big enough. We're going to go ahead and use this one that I had uh, used for jelly play the other day. There we go. And I apologize for the loudness of it. Again, I will do my best to turn it down. And this isn't even big enough. So, plan B. We just rip off some more. So, close your ears. All right, there we go. The king of fans. Whew. Okay, there we go. There we are. Now everything's color covered. It's shiny side down. And what you really want to do is pay attention to the edges. Um, it's best to start out on a low, lower temp and go up and on a real high temp. And I could have opened up this ironing board to give myself a little bit more room, but to iron. However, I only have so much room on the desk. So, just like when you iron clothes, you don't stay in one spot for too long. Go over and pay careful attention to the edges where it's going to seal. And it does bubble up and it's not going to look perfect. It's going to, you know, have texture and all that good stuff. And it is a fun project and I have never been unsatisfied with the results that I have gotten as different as they are. Ready to pull it out. Hang on, make sure I get under this edge really well. Okay. You're getting to hear my uh, hum if we a little ditty. All right. Not about Jack and Diane, though. Ha. Huh. Now, I am just putting this over here. I do not want to unplug it in case I need it. But... Nor. Okay. Hmm. Does not smell very good. So, this is... I'm just testing to make sure the edges... I think I'll come back and do, yeah, see, I've come back and do this side, which I was thinking it might happen. Same here. I didn't get enough on that side. So, if you really wanted to, you could rip this apart to a degree, but you want to make sure that it's sealed as close to the edges as you can, so. Yep, that needs it again. Okay. okay so I want to get through here and around there. My crafts is a hot mess, and I do not mean that in a good way. It is. No. But I told myself, you know... I don't know, maybe everybody else is neat and tidy and it never gets overwhelming, but trust me, I get overwhelmed. 
And so I told myself I had to clean out one corner. I had to get one corner. That's all I had to do. And I did. I made some gold. And so it's now a matter of not putting anything, tossing anything back in that corner. And the whole purpose of this is you don't want it to stick to whatever surface. Now she says she uses a piece of, not cardboard, but heavy cardstock or something. And he, she said she, I, she usually does it on the floor. I see why. got my days I'm all over the place with what day it is maybe it's I mean I used to work night shift as a nurse and you know you'd go to work on say the 10th and you'd come home on the 11th and you'd say good night and good morning to the shift coming on and so it would get confusing sometimes it's like I don't know if I'm coming or going and it's similar with shooting videos that you know that aren't just a day in advance when you're trying to get ahead so you have something in case you know you get sick so it's all confusing as to what day I'm on where am I this is not my beautiful house okay I think I have it I don't know. I think Man, it is loud. I know it is loud. And again, it hopefully will not be in the final product. So you'll probably hopefully be going, what is she talking about? Alright, let's try it again. And it is toasty hot. Toasty hot. Alright. Yes, I've gotten a good seal. I can tell by looking. Yep. Good seal. This is what you want. And see the texture that it has? Hopefully that, yep, you can see that. Okay. So let me put all of this away. And if I could turn this off without burning myself. Yay, I did it. Okay. Now we're going to put that there. Trying to find a place to put this, y'all, because I may want to get to my my sewing machine. So hopefully I will not cause an avalanche by doing this and setting it over here. Don't cause an avalanche. There we go. Okay. Yay. Yay. I didn't kill myself or anything, but I do have a glue stick sticking to my foot. And don't ask. I told you it's a hot mess in here. I have been crafting madly. And so it's like when I finish one project, I just kind of put it in a bin at best. So, okay. Here we are. Yay. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. So what am I going to do? going to go ahead and not use that because those scissors are still really stiff. I'm just going very carefully. So I still, I haven't gone so close as to where it could open and I can still use my zigzag scissors around it. I am not going to sew around this one because I have the, this color thread and I do not want to have to Rethread it right now. But I'm going to quickly sew these. You will hear me. I'll be right back here. Basically, I just have to turn around and take a couple of steps. So 
as Gail says, talk amongst yourself. Um, if I don't see you passing notes, well, there's nothing I can do about it. So, go ahead and I will try to talk and keep you company. Ooh, let's hurry. See if I can sew this quickly without running off the rails too badly. So, um, again, I was asking you if you had any special plans, which you did on Mom's Day. If you don't have to, if you don't have to, if you don't celebrate Mom's Day, is there something special you did on the weekend? How was the weather? All right, here we go. try to stay dry, hot and, well, not hot, cool, because it's going to be hot. because there's a technique I want to try with at least one of them and if I like it I might do it again. If you're gonna gossip, you gotta be nice. Tell me what you're gossiping about. I'm not a seamstress. It's not something that I've ever really done outside of home ec. I did make a, some homemade paper towels and a couple bowl cozies. But other than that, no. A home stretch. Sorry about that. If that took too long. I hope you're all still with me. And let's get rid of this. And no, I did not put anything in that corner. So, uh, all right. I forgot to bring my drink down. I'm upstairs to fill it and forgot to bring it down. So, as you can see, it's a little bit wrinkled. 
it has a nice yummy sound to it if you're inclined to like that sound. So I'm just going to cut close. Oh man, these are really hard to open and close. But not so close, you know. Not so close it opens, but not so far away that you've got all this. Oh man, these are really hard to. Let me see. Okay, now I need to pull you guys back down because I can't see it where I'm at. All right, so everybody look away. Look away. There we go. That's right, a little bit better. So, I need a taller chair. <laughs> it only, this office chair, I really like the style of it. Um, but it, it's not very tall. So, not very tall, so it's hard for me to see the phone, to see where I'm at. Alrighty. Now somewhere over the rainbow, oh, I think it's in my, under my desk, I made a little, I don't know, I guess you could call it a wallet. And I'll get it out as soon as I'm done here, so you can see. Um, you know, depending on the size of what you do, like, you know, if you use a napkin or tissue paper or something, these are great journal covers, which I have done one. I don't know if I can get to it fast enough because I didn't think about it until just now. Otherwise, I would have gotten it out. I just want to take a moment to give a shout out to Ellen. Ellen, thank you, thank you, thank you. You made my day. Thank you, thank you, thank you. By the time you see this, you'll already have known. I will have already gotten a hold of you to let you know to thank you and, you know, as in person as we get. And just thank you. Just touched my heart. Not to mention they're beautiful. Okay, so, hang on. This is my box of, um, well, that isn't, my box of things that I've made and so that I have a, a prototype thing. So I dig in here every once in a while for something. And I, it better still be in here. I'm going to be quite put out. Oh, I'm crying in a bucket. Mother pus bucket. Did I move it? Looks like I moved it. Well, dang it. Dang me. Yep. It is not in here. Oh, crud. Anyway, I was going to show you the one thing that I, the first thing that I made, and I just loved it so much, I, I never know what to do with it. It's like one of those things you kind of want to give to somebody, but yet on the other hand, you're like, no, no. So this one is really hard to see the stamp, so I would not stamp on. I would use a different color stamp, uh, ink, to do that with. Okay, so let me grab a signature. And what we'll do is I have this pull out moo cow because it was a misprint, but I didn't want to waste it trying to go outside the comfort zone. But what we will do is, first of all, this is the blank one. So this is what she has done. And I have not, I have embossed on just the toilet paper. And again, if it was a non-textured, it may have turned out better. Even before the Distress Oxide, you could barely see that I did anything to it. You can kind of see it a little bit better there. That's not so bad. But anyway, so that was my playing around today. And bring up the big shot. Now, I do not know whom or who I saw this from, but they 
cut their embossing folders at the junction so they could, uh, you can do different things with them. And my thing is, I can have a really hard time figuring out, I believe this is the front, what the front and the back is. So, we'll put this in here, and yay, it fits perfectly. Try to see if I'm in frame. I hope I'm in frame. Okay, so it fits perfectly. Cut them in half so that you can manipulate whatever you're doing to your heart's content. So this is a little bit diff difficult to make sure I have it centered just because there's no... I have it? No, I have it right. No, I don't. No wonder it wasn't doing what I wanted it, feeling like it should. All right, we are... over the whole thing, but there. Oh, stop. Oh, for goodness sakes. There. There. Okay, I can see it and kind of feel it. No. Stay. I have still not figured this thing out. I'm trying to be very careful not bump the phone and not get that off kilter. Sorry if that's like, oh my gosh, the sky is falling, the sky is falling. No, 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 it's not. There. Now stay. Dang it. Just. Stay, I tell you. Stay. Come through. Oh. You know, when I was embossing with this earlier, it did not give me nearly as many fits as it wants to now. And I really wish I brought my drink down. I hadn't forgotten it. Really be thirsty. All right, so let's see how that did. Eh, a little bit. You're not going to see much of it because obviously it's clear. But it actually did well. At least on this side, on the front side, it did a lot better. So, yay, 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 yay. Let me get this out of the way. Put my tools away. Trying. Okay. And a signature. I kind of like that. I actually really do like that. I hope you can see that. Let me stand up. Yes, there you go. Oh, it's it's slight. It's not. It's not in your face obvious. And this works well. I have glued these before. You do want to get a good glue. Crafter's Pick is a great one. I'm going to have to unclog the tip. I use this nice little hat pin for that. There, there's some. can't tell if that's one of the baby chicks or outside birds. So here's the front. I'm going to glue down. There we go. Across. Because you, know, you need me to tell you that. 
Because if I didn't tell you what I was doing, you would have no idea. Yes, that's me being tongue in cheek. Tongue in cheek. All right. Now I can cover up the upside down February, but not any of the others. do that and even though it's sitting right here I keep forgetting about it that I made this bird cluster roll a good month ago or so I know I know like what are you doing so I eyeballed that one earlier I know it's probably a little too matchy matchy but you know what Mitzi can deal. Although I kind of like that one too. We'll go with this one. We'll go with this one. Alright, so I want to make sure that when I put it in, it doesn't come too far out from the page. I don't want to cut that poor little birdie's tail off. Or the owl's ears off. There. This was the first one of these that I made. I need to make more that aren't um, necessarily birds. Like in Natasha's video, she had made a long ruffle and that she used it to close, you know, to decorate the pocket that she made. It was really nice. I liked it. And then you shake and shake the ketchup bottle, and then I'll come, then I'll waddle. And I'm probably out of frame, so I apologize. I know I have between the zero and the eleven. <laughs> this is what my how I usually have it set. It seems to work out the best for me. All right. Here's a tag. So there we have it. We have a nice embossed distress oxide toilet paper pockets or um, she did say mention that you know she made tags and that you can't write on them but you can glue to them you just have to use a really good glue um i don't know i've not tried art glitter glue and i don't think fabric tack or beacon three and one would work very well i don't know candace johnson turned me on to the crafter's pick and it glues just about anything down it does not glue the remote to your butt so you just stop losing it it doesn't do that don't even try it i'll live just learn from me learn from me so there you go. Here's this. And what else? Trying to think, trying to think, trying to think real quick. I don't think of anything else off the top. Oh, that's one thing I was going to do. Oh, that's why it wasn't working. I, next time I make these, I'm going to figure out how I can attach a um, magnet. I'll probably have to do it on that. Outs. I don't want to do it on the outside, but I'll figure it out. I just didn't today. So here is a bookmark. And actually, if you wanted to, I get my glue out of the way and put a lid on it. Even though the damage is done by now. So let's get the old eyelet setter out. Ouch. And I'm going to do a large. The 3 16th hole, I think is what it's, the size it is. I don't know. And I'm eyeballing it. I know. Who are you and what have you done with Laura? Okay, I need to do it again. Goodness. So the toilet paper is coming out. is okay because I'm just going to turn around and put an eyelet in there. And oh. I'm crying it in a bucket. My 
wrestle this through there. And they do have these colored ones. I sure wish these uh, eyelets, I think they're called the grommets and eyelets, whatever. Um, they would come in uniform sizes. These are probably some of my favorites. That size, but not for this. So make sure I have it on the right because I always forget. Always, always, always. So I shrunk it down and then put it right here. So I want the base at one. Yep. There's the base. And then the big one. Put that here. And this is always really fiddly for me. Got oh, for goodness sake. See how good I'm being, those of you who really know me? Even though I have it set for kids, I don't want to get blasted for saying something I'm not supposed to. Why isn't this not, why is that not working? Sometimes I have the hardest time with this thing. And I have it all the way unlocked. And I have it on the right one. It just doesn't like to... So I have it there. That is one. Got it on the big side. Everything's where it's supposed to be. I'm over the thing. It just doesn't want to go down. I, I really have an issue with this sometimes, and I keep wondering why. I mean, is it operator error? If anybody has any ideas of why this can be so I guess it's okay now all right maybe it was just me but sometimes I really do have a hard time getting that to do what it's supposed to do I could go to my manual one that's less more manual than that one so here you go these are all the things you can do with toilet paper besides the obvious. So next time you want to have a play, this is a really fun idea. Again, I will link Natasha at Treasure Books, a video where I got this from. I've done this. I did a, a tutorial. One of the first ones I did, I think, was on this. Um, this one I will finish up and do something fun with it. I'm not sure. And... I think that that's everything, and Kyung, I hope I did your idea justice. You just wait till you see mine. Um, as always, if you liked what you have seen, please give me a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell after you subscribe, of course, so you know when I'm going to upload a video. Um, and leave a comment, please. Tell me what you liked. Tell me what you did for the weekend. Tell me what you would do. Um... And if you want to show me your makes, please, I have a YouTube, a YouTube, yeah, I have a YouTube. I have a Facebook group, which is easy to remember. It's Craft and See with Laura B. Join. Um, I'm also on Pinterest, if I remember to go on, um, and Instagram. Again, on Instagram, I am Craft and See with Laura B. And I still have to change my name on Pinterest. But all of that is in the description box. And I would love to see what you make. And um, I guess that's it for tonight. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. I appreciate each and every one of you. I am up to 94 subscribers. Yay! Yay! I only have 906 to go. 906, ladies and gentlemen. 906. Very, very exciting. You know, I'll get there one day. I'm just having fun and learning in this community of crafters is probably hands down the nicest, most uplifting group of people I've ever had the pleasure of knowing. And um, Ellen, again, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And with that, peace. <laughs>